So welcome back in this video are going to discuss the cystogastrostomy the old way and the new way of doing it. So first I would show you how it was done in the past. So that's here a pseudocyst and we can see it is maybe around six to seven centimeters in size. We are using Dobler to ensure there's no blood vessels in the way and then we are introducing 19 gauge needle. Through the needle we are going to advance a 0.35 millimeter guide wire and then we'll make sure that the wire is coiling under fluoroscopic guidance. Then we're going to exchange the needle over the wire and advance the needle knife. The needle knife has to be advanced within the cavity using cut current and as you see here we had to use a little bit of tension to get the needle through the thick wall of the stomach and once we do that we are going to ex exchange the needle for a balloon we're using here 10 millimeter balloon or you can use 15 or 20 millimeter balloon if you are planning on a crisectomy. For this situation we're going only to place a stent so we dilated up to 10 millimeter and as you can see here there is a gush of fluid coming out from the pseudocyst cavity. Then we start by deploying 10 millimeter by 6 millimeter biliary metal stent. You also have the option of deploying a um, double big tail plastic stent if you would like to. So as we see it required at least four to five equipments and up to 30 to 40 minutes to perform the procedure. So now I'm going to show you the new and easy way of doing it using a uh, lumen opposing metal stent with hot current. As we see here we have another complex pseudocyst it's up to eight centimeters in diameter and using ultrasound guidance, we are going to advance the lumen opposing metal stent right away using hot current. And under ultrasound guidance, we are going to deploy the proximal flange of the stent. Once it is deployed, we are going to push it against the cyst gastrostomy wall, and we will deploy the distal stent using ultrasound guidance. And once both sides of the stent deployed under ultrasound guidance, we're going here to see that uh, the pseudocyst fluid is gushing into the stomach. You may stop here or you may consider dilating the cavity with a 15 millimeter balloon and you may also consider looking inside the cavity to see the amount of necrosis. As we can see here the 30 to 40 minutes procedure now is taking less than 10 minutes using uh, the hot lumen opposing metal stent. Thank you.